Greetings, fellow adventurers. This has been Chariot, and welcome back to my Skyrim tale. This is episode 51, okay? We made it past episode 50. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, so that is like our first hurdle. Or not a hurdle. We didn't jump or anything. We kind of just ran through it. We kind of tripped over it. It was not a hurdle. It was so much of... It was a finish line, but it wasn't finishing because we're still recording. I don't know what it was, but whatever it was, we finished it. We didn't finish it. We got past it. We're past episode 50. So this is episode 51. The, the Let's Play is not stopping. Okay, some of you guys kind of freaked out, thought it was stopping. It's not stopping. Okay, it's not stopping. I'm continuing this. I was just playing with you guys last time. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, I'm back in the mainland, as you can tell. Um, we got Jen, we got Lydia, we got all of that. And, okay, there's some stuff um, you guys wanted me to do. First off, I don't think it'll work. But you guys are asking for it. You guys want me to see what happens if I shout at the door inside the TARDIS. I don't think that's going to do anything. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But you guys think maybe that'll open it. I don't know. I, I guess we'll try it. I mean, what is the worst thing that could happen? I mean, really. Uh, so I'm going to shout at a door and hope it moves. Usually that doesn't work. I've tried it. Uh... I'm not in this game. I've tried it in real life. I've, if you if you yell at a door, it doesn't open for you. I know. I know. It's kind of disappointing, but it doesn't. Okay, here we go. Bruce, wake up! It's not opening. See, I told you guys that's not. It's it's not. Th maybe this door goes nowhere. Maybe they put this door in this mod just to mess with people. Cause it's messing with us. Everybody wants to know what's behind that door, but I don't think there's anything back there. Somebody said they know clicked past it, and there's nothing there. Now, that's not to say that if you open it, it doesn't teleport you somewhere or something. I don't know. But there's nothing actually back there, he says. Um, someone else said I should press this switch to open it. But that doesn't do anything, I don't think. That just returns you to your last destination. That, that doesn't open the door. So there's no way I see of opening the door. So it's, it's, still, it's still a mystery, and we don't know how to figure it out right now. Anyway. I just realized something. How come your followers don't follow you into this console room? They follow you into the other one, but they won't come in here. Huh. That's interesting. Ah, oh, the mystery deepens. Anyway, so that didn't work. That was the first thing on our list. I'm trying to remember what else we have on our list. Okay, the main thing we have on our list is... Finding Vale, a suitable husband in these lands. Um, I guess we could do that now. We could have a fantastic episode and try and find her somebody. I just don't know who. Okay, um, there's been some suggestions, and one person in the comments set last time said that he wanted to see us have a Khajiit follower, which I didn't even know there was a Khajiit follower in here. I don't remember one. He says that if you talk to one of the people at the caravan, you can get them to follow you. So that would be cool. We could have like a, a kitten. Or not a kitten. I mean, he's a fully grown kitten. He's a, where are, where are my followers? They're gone. I think the TARDIS just ate them. Where'd they go? Lydia? You okay? All right. Uh, it's time for me to activate my amazing abilities of, of, of biological identification of substances after they've died techniques. Uh, it's been passed down through my family for generations. I'm kind of a college professor in it. All right, so I'm going to make a deduction right now. This head did not come from this body. You heard it here, folks. I don't think these things go together. How they got here together, I don't know. That's another mystery for another time. Uh, where in the world did Lydian... Okay, whatever. They'll catch up. They'll catch up, right? I'm sh sure they'll catch up. Because I don't got time for catch up. I got some mustard to do. Um, so, let's go... Let's go look for men. Never thought I would actually say that. Um, where should we check first? I have absolutely no idea. Um, Riverwood actually someone last time. Yes, I do read all your comments. So I am referencing comments that people have left. What, you don't believe me that I, you don't think that I read all your comments? I do. I probably, I probably have already read what you just posted. 
Okay, what you just commented right now. I don't think you read your comments. Well, I just I just read it. So in doing so, you just proved yourself wrong. Anyway, um, hey guys, welcome back. Who are you guys? What is it? What is it? I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunkenness. Anyway, um, somebody said uh, I get off topic so bad. Anyway, somebody said Findall would be an interesting follower. Um, he's the wood elf here with the bow. He's like an archer. He's like Legolas, but less attractive or so. Um, I don't know where he went. He's in here somewhere. There was that whole quest with Finn and Findall. I didn't do it this time. There he is. There he is. There he is. Hey, my man! How you doing, Findall? Findall? What is that around your neck? It's not... It's not attached to anything. It's like, I think it's either a banana peel or a used tissue. Yeah, a really, good. really Did used tissue. Face so far from home. What? A familiar face? I'm not a dark, I'm not a wood elf, I'm a dark elf. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. Uh, also, you guys seem to like Jen. You guys, in the last video, or last comments of last video, you weren't actually in the video, that would be weird. Um, you guys were saying that Jen is actually a cool addition to our group. Me and Lydia, you are tall. Anyway, although you guys said that the the same kind, you and the, I'm glad to the crown thingy, the tiara wasn't really her style, and I I tend to agree. So let's take off the tiara. Well, also, um, you guys said the elven armor doesn't really suit her, and it doesn't, but it is better than what she started in. I think because she started in like Nordic, and I don't I just don't see a dark elf wearing that. So, um, we'll have to find her some new stuff. Also, man, you guys commented a lot last time, but keep the comments coming. I read them, and I'll try and fit in everything you guys tell me to do. Anyways, next, um, you guys said that Lydia deserved her own sword, because I gave Jen a sword last time because she just joined the group, but Lydia hasn't gotten herself a new sword, okay? And she deserves it. You guys said that Lydia, beyond a shadow of a doubt, deserves a new sword, so... We have got to keep on a lookout and find Lydia a cool new sword. So if we're in a dungeon and we find a cool new sword, even if I'm not going to use it, we need to make sure we give it to Lydia. So remind me to do that. Anyway, man, there's a lot of stuff to go through at the beginning of this episode. Um, I don't even know which um, guys in this are romanceable because, you know, I mean... I usually don't even do the romance stuff in this. I mean, it's not even... If you even call it romance, you're basically like, let's get married. Okay, I think I'll get married to you now. And then I'll go to your house and do nothing else for the rest of the game. It's not really romance, okay? It's not. But, I mean, it would be funny. I think it would be funny for Vale to have um, someone. Um, so, we gotta find somebody. I think Markarth has a couple. I can't think of anybody in Whiterun that does. I can't think of anybody. If you, anybody else can, um, feel free to tell me. Um, Riften has a couple, I think. Maybe... Uh, does Windhelm? Yeah. If I put on the amulet, um, it's an easier way to tell because people will have a different way they address me if I'm wearing it, which doesn't actually make any sense. Why would Vale wearing this amulet be like, Oh, you're single! Oh, I got nothing else to do. Hold my beer. Uh, so, I don't know. Um, that guy's already married. Uh, that, that one's too young. That one's too old. Uh, that one's a chicken. Uh, I can't think of anyone in here, so we gotta move, we, we gotta go, I think we need to go to Markarth, I haven't been there in this game yet, wow, we haven't even been to Markarth yet, uh, so I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the, the wheelie spinny thing to Markarth, whatever that's called, it's a cart, it's a, it's a wagon, it's a wagon cart, it's a thing that takes you there, hey boys, see, wow, it's been a while since I said that, what episode was, what was the last time I mentioned Boise? Man, it's been forever since I've seen you. You look good for a horse. Um, man, we should buy him. We have tons of gold. Boise should be part of our group. It's just I'm scared he's going to die if we do. Uh, maybe I'll come back and get him. Because that could be something else we could do. Because not like we have enough stuff to do anyway. Um, yes, I'd like to hire your carriage. Not you, just your carriage. Take me to the Markarth. Markarth, Markarth. Ever been to Markarth? Yes, I've been there many times before. I don't believe a word of it. Don't believe a word of what? I wasn't listening. Hello, nice man that cleans dishes with a dirty rag. 
You clean my dishes with a dirty rag. I'm not ever going to your place again. Hello. Oh, we could buy dogs over there. We could buy a dog. Man, our group is going to get too big. Everyone wants new follow. Oh. Markarth traveler. Safest city in the reach. I dare say it's not the safest city, because I could start a riot. Get nervous. A woman approaches with a weapon drawn. Oh, I might get nervous, will you? I get nervous up the side of your face. All right, let's go. In. Okay, I'm getting off track really easily. I'm sorry. Uh, this is the first time we've been on the mainland for like an episode in a while, in a while. But I thought you guys wanted the fantastic. Wait, no, oh, no, don't kill him, don't kill him. I, ah, I saved her. Wow, my reaction time kicked in there like you guys have no idea. Whew. That guy, that guy was going to kill that woman, and I just saved her life. Yes. Wow. Huh, I feel like a superhero right now. What is wrong with your face? Huh? God. A woman attacked right on the streets. I know, right? Did you see what happened? I, I, I saw what happened, but basically I went into a fit of rage and killed some guy before he even could move. The guy tried to sneeze and just drop dead. Um, I was right here. He almost killed me. I'm so sorry. He almost killed me. He didn't even I see me. I was like, Ugh! Okay. This woman's eyes are going to penetrate my very soul. Yes, thank you. Uh, do you know anything about the attack? No. I was just getting some fresh air. I had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Oh, common story. Is I know. No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Oh, I get you. I get you. We're doing a little little handoff. You're doing a little... what in the heck is wrong with your face? Okay. People around here are weird. Okay, hopefully he's not a choice, because he's all kinds of creepy. It's all kinds of creepy. Okay, the main one I'm thinking of is in here. Okay, um, I think actually in um, Sierra's game, Immortal Kyoto's game, when she played this game, uh, like Come on, a year ago, two years ago, she played this game, drink and her choice for husband, for her character, was I'm this guy. My husband cover. I watch yeah, he I drinks with his cheek. I'm what you'd His call tattoo absorbs torture. liquids, apparently. But this is the guy she chose. Accidentally. Okay, she didn't actually mean to. She had him as a follower, and she accidentally accepted his, uh, his proposal for marriage. And there's no backing out of it at that point. So, it was an accident. But, um, this, this was her choice for her character. I don't know what you guys think of him. I mean, he's sitting here, he's, um, drinking all day long. He's here every day, all day. He's in a bar. Um, he's dressed like an absolute barbarian. He's got the head of a dead animal on his shoulder. Um, his hair is well kept, all things considered. He does shave, which is a plus, I think. Um, no, I don't know. I mean, it's up to you guys, but this guy, this guy seems a little bit of a barbarian to be paired up with Vale. I mean... I'm not exactly sure who would fit Vale's personality, but long-haired Jim Carrey here just ain't doing it. Uh, I don't think so. Um, watch your back. Watch my back. It's kind of creepy. It's kind of really creepy. Okay, I don't think there's anyone else. This guy. This guy's old enough to be Vale's grandfather. I don't think that. This guy. <laughs> look at this guy. This guy would be a good, good choice, I think. I mean, look at this. All of his hair is migrated from the from his scalp to his chin. He has like a hair farm growing out of his chin. That's awesome. How about a septum? Wait, make that two septums. I feel like living it up. Yeah, he's a real winner. He's a he's a winner of all time. I'm stuck on something. Little Vance, stop trapping me in. All right, so. I don't know of anyone else here. I need to start... Okay, I'm wearing the amulet, so if I talk to someone, they should... Songs are just old memories that help the mead go down quicker. We'll handle mead go down quicker? What does that you mean? Oh, no, not... House. No, no, he wants me to go in the house. I don't want to do that right now. Get away from me. Get away from me. Okay. Okay. Man, is it just me, or would this town be really humid? All these waterfalls everywhere? Yeah, it would like be a rainforest. Only in a town. All right, is the guy that works here at the Smith? Is he romanceable? Are you romanceable? Hello? Anyone here? No one's here. Everyone left already. Fine. I don't care anyway. I wasn't going to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, um. Hey, wait. Is that you? 
Wait, talk to me! I think I'm in love with you. shipments coming in, so I do nothing. Just drink. The men around here are just awesome. Aren't they? They're just real winners. This guy... Dude, I've heard a red eye, but that's ridiculous. Your entire face has gone red. The heck, we're using your face as a brake pedal? Okay, um, how about these guys? How about these guys? They look... I mean, this guy's an orc. I mean... How about you? You're not one of my workers. What are you doing here? I was... Uh, curious about your singleness statuses of things. It would be a lot easier if these people would just update their Facebook pages. Okay, I can't think of anyone else here. Um, see, I'm probably doing this wrong. If you guys have any suggestions, or if you guys know the best towns or best places to look for these kind of things, let me know. Um, uh, can't think of anyone else here for the fantastic episode. That dead guy is still laying there. No one bothered to even pick his body up. There's just some dead guy rotten in the street, right in the entrance of the city. Like, welcome to Markov, the safest city in the entire reach. Except for this dead guy that got killed in our streets. Pretty safe. Safest place around. It's safe as long as you're not a guy turning your back to a woman that just walked in the front gate with a sword, fully armored. How's it the safest place if everyone... Like, I could just walk in. Look at Vale. She's got weapons hanging off of her. And she's like, hey, it's the safest place. Might as well just let me in. We'll handle things um, wait, that's... That's a... Yeah, that girl's... That girl's a roommate. So I think it's, uh... Yeah, my main character before the guy I played with was... Okay. That, 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 that. That's a prison, isn't it? Let's not check the prison, okay? I'm pretty sure you're not going to find anybody good in there. All right, so Mark Hearth is kind of over. I think we've checked over. Let's check Solitude. I don't know who is in Solitude. Um, I spent most of my time when I played before in Riften. Riften was my town. I would I would go out, do a quest, come back to Riften. R Riften was like my my home base. It was like my my Justice League Tower of Justiceness that you go to. How about this guy? Spare some gold for a veteran. Is there any guys around here that aren't homeless? This game is spreading the rumor that all men are lazy. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. How about you? You've got a lizard for a head. You might want to rethink that. You're missing. Huh? Okay, Barney. See you later. Hey, there's ch children around. If there's children, there must be romance. If Hello? Saved me from the Hello? And they can save Why are you holding me in old? They're all... Old! Every single one of them is old and bald! Hello, sir! Look at your baldness! Man, no one in the world! I can't find a single guy that does not look like he's 58. Okay, this is not getting off. How come all the women aren't like that? Okay, I don't know anymore. I am confused. Alright, how about you, sir? At least you have hair. You have hair, sir. You're already winning just simply because you have hair. Uh, there's n he has n no okay. No one has any options for this. Is it Vale's? Am I still wearing it? I'm wearing it, aren't I? There's no one interested. No one likes Vale anymore. You guys are all jerks. I know she's kind of crazy sometimes, and she has a voice inside her head that tells her to do things, and she's constantly talking to herself. But it's okay. She's a good person. You just gotta get to know her. You just gotta. What is this? What is this? A bathtub in public? The purpose of that? The heck? Okay. Um. What's this? Oh, that's nice. It's a place for nothing. It's a, literally a place for nothing. Um. Okay, so I can't think of it. I think. Uh. Wait a minute. How about a Jarl of a town? Wait a minute. The Jarl in Whiterun. Is he? We could marry the king of the Whiterun cities. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Not that he's, like, an interesting choice, but... I can't think of any good guys. All the guys are complete buttheads in this game. Got some good pieces out here. You guts survive. some good pieces? I don't know what that means, but... You said gut, and that was kind of funny. Okay, let's go forward. In time. Traveling through time is my favorite thing to do. Okay. Ah, the store's open. It's not creepy at all that 
A fully grown woman was standing outside your store Welcome for three hours. Now, Hello. We've got small weapons as well. Uh, you don't want to marry Vale either. Daggers, that sort of thing. Nobody wants to marry Vale. It's like, you think you think there'd be takers? You think? I don't know. Ah, we're gonna have to use something better. Uh, what's this? The drunken huntsman. Wait, this is where do we got Jen? Hey, Jen, look, it's your old, it's your old resting place where you just sat here all day long, every day. You sat in that table. You sat, no, you sat on the chair next to the table. You didn't sit in the table. That doesn't even make sense. Right, how about you, sir? Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? No. I'm not in the market for anything. I'm in the market for love. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Um. This app, but this is. Oh, how about you, sir? Come by Bella you look Bella young and market. and sure perfectly eligible. Mean to be rude. Hmm. You're not going to even talk hmm. to her. Yes. Are you insane, man? He doesn't even care. He just walked right on. Vale comes up and talks to him. A perfectly. A normal, well, not normal. She's not normal. I know she's not normal. Maybe that's why no one wants Maybe her. But still, she comes right up. She's like a gorgeous female. She just talks to him, and she does. He doesn't care. What the heck is wrong with him? And what the heck is wrong with you, sir? More bald guys. Why are all the men bald in this game? I give up. I give up. I can't find anybody. How about you, sir? Wait. Mercenary work. No, I don't want mercenary work. I'm Ah! Wait a minute. I think. Wait a minute. The guy's in the companions. I think there's a guy in the companions that is that is romanceable. He is. Maybe we should join the companions and get one there. We could just snag one. You know, get your man before he's gone, kind of thing. I don't know. Vale, I'm sorry, but oh look. Let me guess. You're balding? No, you're not. You actually have good hair. You're just really old. You're just really, really old. Oh wait, is this guy? I think this guy might be. You're new here. Getting tired of hanging around. Uh, you gotta join the companions me. first, though. He's not gonna marry no outsider. He's not gonna marry no outsider. Anyway, so I I feel bad for Vale. She's tried all day long, and she's gotten nobody even interested. Not even a single person. So I don't know. Um, if you guys saw any of those people, or if you have a better choice, which that would be preferable. If you have a better choice. Wait, we didn't try the guy in white run. Let's go just check him real quick. Uh, come on, Vale. Uh, you've got a mission. You've got to find yourself a suitable mate before everything ends. It's like, no one is interested, though. It's, it's kind of hilarious at this point. Vale is forever alone. Forever. And ever. And ever. And ever. And this loading screen likes her, though. Loading screen was really clingy. Hello? Anyone here? <laughs> Vale's like, she's a hang a sign around her. Like, I am single? I Hello? How about you? Watch over your uh, you don't care either. Now Darn it. How mind. about you, bald sir? The Jarl is, as you um, can imagine, very busy. No, you don't Perhaps care either. No one cares! Vale is forever alone! People are just ignoring her. Oh, here's that. Wait a minute. That's the little... That's the rabbit. He's a little deceiver rabbit. He in infiltrated my group once. I thought he was a little vent, but he wasn't. This is a little vent. Why are there two rabbits? How did the second rabbit get there? Anyway, I can't find anybody. I can't find anybody at all. Um, so, if you guys have a better choice, or you guys know someone who, as a matter of fact, would be interested in Vale, let me know. But this was a fantastic episode, even though all the men were were ugly and they were nasty. And yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel, I mean, I feel bad for Vale at this point. She deserves better. She really does. She really really does but I can't find anybody so it's kind of up to you guys at this point it is up to you guys all right if you see someone suggest in the comments a good husband for Vale that you agree with thumbs up the comment thumbs it right up make it top comment so I'll see it and I will make sure that we go and we track that guy down and Vale like tackles him and she drags him to the nearest place to get married instantly okay so we'll do that next time i'm making Vale sound like she's a completely crazy woman and she kind of is that that child is divine defying the laws of physics and gravity and everything all at once children here are kind of creepy but um so that was our fantastic episode if you enjoyed it leave a like leave a comment 
help me find someone for Vale. And we will see you next time. <laughs>